really delighted, you know, with the uh, with how we played the game in the first half. You know, we were uh, we were on the front foot, you know, for long periods. Uh, again, you know, we didn't take our opportunities that were presented to us, and it's uh, pretty much a familiar feature at the minute for us. Second half, I thought the game started to go away from us a little bit. You know, they started to play a lot quicker, a lot faster. You know, through the rook area, and they took the chances and they got some momentum, and it was difficult for us to get back into it. The effort and the commitment from our guys, you know, from the first minute to the last was superb. I can't fault that. We just weren't quite clinical enough, again, you know, to get over the whitewash. What, do you, what do you think it is that's stopping us uh, converting that possession into tries? Yeah, it's some decision making, yeah, for sure, you know, and taking the right options, you know, with the ball. Uh, and that's, that's, that's hurt us a little bit, that, uh, certainly in these last two games, and it's quite evident, is that? Yeah, they seem to they, they seem to have uh, made plans from last week. But you were hitting them out wide, and they seem to be closing them down on the fringes today. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they did. You know, they they've got yeah. some smart defensive systems in place. You know, and Paul Rowley, you know, he's got a good team there. You know, he's a smart coach. You know, and today were their day, and that happens in rugby league. You know, and our job is now, you know, to get back on the training field, look at the DVD and start fixing things up and look forward to the Sheffield game. A couple of debutants on the bench, do you think that hurt you but when uh, as the game changed? No, not, not really, no, the young, the young kids and it's great you know, that they get some experience you know, at that level. You know, and Sean Pick only had a short stint but I was delighted you know, what yeah. Sean Pick did. And again Gavin Bennion, I thought he went on and I thought he did a, he did a really good stint you know, for us. He went, carried the ball forward well, he's got little areas of his game to improve. But in general, you know, I can't fault our effort at the minute. You know, we're yeah. just just not smart enough in areas, you know, to finish to finish teams off. One or two incidents as well, John. Yeah, I'll have to look at that. That's a bit disappointing because I thought, you know, the game, you know, was a tough, hard, you know, competitive quality championship game. You know, and a good spectacle, you know, for the supporters. Disappointing for us because. We didn't get the result, but we don't want incidents like that. Do we miss the players next week, or is it? Uh, is uh, it, is that, it really bad no, it's week? usually the week after, yeah. It's yeah, the week so after, yeah. So it should be okay for next week. Yeah. A lot of injuries currently, and possibly a couple more out with those incidents there. Uh, how much will that hurt? Well, you've got to be strong. Uh, we just spoke about that. You know, when you, you go through a little bit of a turbulent time, you know, you've got to have a real strong character, you know, and you've got to keep building as a group. Yeah. And if you do that, you know, you'll, you'll get through the other side of it and it's important that we do, we do, do that as a group of people. What was that today then, John? Uh, Etter, is he, is he injured then? Yeah, he just had a twinge in his hamstring, so, you know, we didn't want to take that chance with him. Yeah. And Matty James, just a sore shoulder, so again, you know, but you lose players, players come in, players get an opportunity. I don't think there were a million, a million miles between those two teams today, you know, but credit to Lee. You know, they managed to find a, a way to win that, you know, against us. Was Gareth Moore injured? No, no, Gareth Moore wasn't injured. No, no, no was he's fine. Yeah. That was just a, a decision yeah. that, that I made him right. in coaching staff. Um, and uh, have you got uh, any returning next week as well? Oh, yeah, we should. Uh, Andy Bostock, he yeah. might have a chance. Matty James will have a chance. You know, Gaz Moore will come back in, in yeah. for selection. We've and seen yeah. previously when teams have really come at us that we've often come back at them and responded and shown characters, you've said in previous weeks. How disappointing was it that after their quick double we were unable to respond as we have them? Yeah, we, we, we couldn't, you know, as much as we tried, we couldn't quite find a way, you know, to get over the whitewash. You know, yeah, of course it's disappointing. You know, we want to do that, we want to score tries. You know, but at the minute, you know, they've just got the nudge on us, have they? The crucial game as well this weekend, yeah? Yeah, they're, all, they're, they're coming thick and fast and... Uh, Sheffield Eagles, you know, another, another top five team, a quality team, you know, they've been around, you know, for the last several years. We're coaching Mark Aston and it's a great test for us and it'll be a test of our character as well, you know, to, to respond, you know, and try and get that result at the weekend.